Hello my lovelies. I don't know about you, but where I live, it's like the weather didn't get the memo about it being the summer holidays. So I thought I would share with you a few quick, easy and free activities that you can do with the kids at home. The first one is junk modelling and basically it is what it says on the tin. Get as many empty packets or bits of packaging as you can, save them up and let the kids play. I used um, PVA glue, sellotape, print sticks, whatever I had, but just use whatever you have around the house and let the kids get creative. Let them decide what they're going to make and just see where their imaginations take them. We love doing this together. I made things, they made things, and we just kind of experimented and played with what we had. Harry made some instruments and we made a monster mask for him as well, which he really enjoyed. And yeah, this is something that my kids love to do all the time, so I thought I'd share. The next one is mini ice hockey. You get a rectangular container that can go in the freezer, fill it with water and freeze overnight. The next morning, you just need a bottle top and your hockey puck, two straws or spoons, whatever you've got around the house, and two bits of paper as your goals. Basically, the aim of the game is to try and get the puck on top of the piece of paper on your side in your goal, if that makes any sense. So I set this up and let the kids have a go and they loved it. We got a good half an hour of play out of this, which I don't know about you, but for my children, that's really good. They really enjoyed it. They brought out their competitive natures and it also helped them to learn that sometimes it's okay to lose and you can't always win. I feel like games like this are really important because they have to learn that sometimes they're gonna get the point and sometimes they're not. <laughs> and they really enjoyed this. Honestly, it was so simple, but so effective. Definitely worth giving a go. The next activity is to play restaurants. So I got Harry to write a menu. I told him what foods we had in the cupboard and he wrote a menu for our restaurant and then the kids were the chefs. So I let them cook on their own as independently as was safe. So they decided to make scrambled egg on toast and they cracked the eggs themselves. They whisked the eggs themselves. We used the microwave to cook them because it just felt like the safest option. But honestly, you will be amazed how capable your children are and how much they can do independently without your help. Honestly, Megan gets me so worried every time she pours milk, but she's so careful. She wants to do it right. She doesn't want to make a mess. And every single time she amazes me with how fantastic she is. Again, Harry put in the egg in the microwave. I was so worried we were gonna get egg everywhere, but he just did so well. And I honestly think this is really good for teaching children life skills and they love it. For them, it was a game. They were playing restaurants, but also they were learning so much along the way. So here they were cutting the toast and then we decided to add some tomatoes as well or should I say they decided to add some tomatoes as well and this was the finished product so I urge you not to correct them if you know the bread doesn't look too nice when it's been cut and things just encourage them tell them it's amazing and go along with it and enjoy. The next activity is to build a den. This sounds really simple, but we do this a lot. It's so much fun. Basically get whatever bed sheets that you've got and figure out how you can make a den using your furniture. We had this garden arch that I bought inside and we used some pegs and it made a really nice den space. And the kids actually read in there, which was amazing. We then found some glow sticks that we hadn't used and we turned it into a little rave tent, which they absolutely loved. They thought it was a really special treat. We already had these in the house left over from Harry's birthday party. And then the rave just kind of expanded round the living room. We were supposed to be tidying up, but this was far more fun instead. And I mean, yeah, just look at them go. <laughs> they had a great time. The next activity was to make and fill a memory box. So I got a box for each of my children. These were old glossy boxes, but you could use a shoe box, whatever you've got around the house, and then let them decorate the lid. I gave them a piece of paper each to do this on first, and I let them do whatever felt right to them. So whatever felt special to them, they could draw to go on the front of their memory box. Once they'd done that, we let them run around the house and fill it with things that they thought were special to them and provoked happy memories. Hello, today I'm going to show you my memory box. Let me show you all the stuff. 
wrapping paper makes me remind me of when I made presents. Glow sticks is when I had a glow stick story. Perfume is when I, you know, um, put perfume on the flowers. Are they your special things? Yeah, they are. Gorgeous. The next activity is to make your own rock band. Use the pans from the kitchen cupboard, use whatever you've got around the house, put things in bottles to make shakers, and just make a big loud noise. <laughs> this was Harry leading our rock band. He got me on the drums. Megan was just kind of chilling and listening, and he was playing his toy guitar. He then showed me how to play the drums properly because apparently I wasn't doing it right, but never mind. I thought I was fantastic, so, you know. <laughs> he then put on a little show for us, which was absolutely lovely. And Megan just enjoyed getting into the rock star vibes with her glasses. Just make sure that it doesn't go to their heads though, because Harry kind of went, yeah, full rep rock star. <laughs> The next activity was to make paper towel rainbows and we basically just put different inks into different containers next to each other, mix them up, we use food colouring. I tried with paint as well but it doesn't work as well so food colouring is best if you have it. And then you use the paper towels to go in between the different inks and the paper towels will absorb each colour and make a kind of rainbow. I mean it's not a rainbow but I didn't know what else to call it. You'll also find that in between the two colours, they will start to mix. So this is great to talk to your child about mixing colours, about absorbing and using all those scientific words. There's loads of investigations you can do like this. My kids love the Skittles one as well. Um, you can do raisins in still water and fizzy water to see whether they float. They bounce up and down in the fizzy water, so kids love that. So I'd highly recommend having a little Google and seeing what science activities you can do at home because there's loads of great ones. I hope you found this video useful and let me know if you try any of these activities at home. I hope you're having a lovely summer holidays. 